For today's yarn, we are going to be using Red Heart with Love, and this is Tiger Lily, and this is a number four worsted weight yarn. The second color we are using is also um, a Red Heart yarn, and this is from the With Love collection, and I believe this one is also bright yellow. Now, originally when I had designed the other sweater, I had used this number four worsted weight baby yarn, and I think this was by Big Twist that is now discontinued, and it's a lot more chunkier. Um, a little bit more on the thicker side um, and I wanted to also use this today um, for demonstration so I could show you that the results are the same. For today's hook I am going to be using the G 4.5 millimeter crochet hook and this one is by the crochet light and if you guys haven't seen these yet it's really cool It does light up in the dark, which is really cool. So this is the little sweater we will be making today for today's video. This is the extra, extra small size dog sweater. And the measurements for this sweater will be down below into the description box. To begin, you want to start with a slip knot. and you're going to shut that closed and you want to be able to run your hook through very easily sometimes people have very tight tension and you don't want to have too much of a tight tension or the size will definitely be different to begin chain 28 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 eight, nine, ten. You are going to join to the very first chain. Then slip stitch that through. Now we have formed a circle and we will be working in the rounds. We are going to chain up three and this chain three will count as our very first double crochet. We are going to put one double crochet all the way around into each and every stitch and I'm just going to crochet over our straggler so then we don't have to tuck that in later. So there's one, two, three four, five, six. So I'm going to keep repeating that all the way around putting one double crochet until I reach the 28th stitch. Okay so I've come to the end and I have um, 28 double crochets all the way around. Now we are going to be slip stitching to the top of that chain three. There's one, two, three. And you're going to slip stitch to that. And this is what our work will look like. Round two, chain up three. And this is going to count as our double crochet. Now what we want to do is into the very next stitch, which is right here, we want to put a front post double crochet. To do a front post double crochet, you want to yarn over over your hook like you normally would. And you're going to go behind this stitch and you're going to take your yarn, pull that under, okay, and then um, you're going to yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two, and that is how you do a front post double crochet. Into the very next stitch, we want to put a double crochet right here. Into the next stitch after that, you want to do a front post double crochet, which is going behind the stitch, and then pulling up a loop. Yarn over, pull through two, yarn over and pull through two. Into the next stitch, you want to do a double crochet. 
into the stitch after that, you'll do a front post double crochet. So this is going to be the repeat all the way around, putting a front post double crochet, then a double crochet, front post double crochet, double crochet. And you will continue that until you come to the end. Okay, so we've made it all the way around. And our very last stitch will be a front post double crochet. And we want to close this round up with a slip stitch to the top of the chain three. Round three, chain up three. And we are just going to repeat what we did for round two, which is um, chain three, which is our double crochet. And then do a front post double crochet into that stitch. And then do a double crochet into the next stitch after. Work a front post double crochet. And then a double crochet after that. So basically wherever there is a double crochet, you'll put a double crochet. Wherever there's a front post double crochet, you'll work a double front post double crochet, sorry. And then into the next stitch after, we're doing a double crochet. And to the stitch after that, front post double crochet. So, I'm going to leave you guys to it for this round, which is round three. I'm going to repeat this all the way to the end, and I will meet you guys as soon as I get mine done. We have now come to the end of round three, and we are now going to be moving on to round four. And we want to close up this round with a slip stitch to join to close up round three. For round four, we will be increasing, and I'm going to show you guys how to do that. You want to start off by chaining three. And we are going to be increasing every four stitches, which is going to land on a front post double crochet always. So we're going to count one, and this uh, front post double crochet will work a front post double crochet. Into the next stitch, which is a double crochet, will work a double crochet. And then here is our fourth stitch. So we'll work a front post double crochet and then we're going to go over that front post double crochet again and we are going to do another front post double crochet. So there's one, two, three and then the fourth stitch you're going to increase. We'll do our double crochet normally and to the next stitch we'll work a front post double crochet normally so that's our second stitch. Then our third stitch will be this double crochet. And then our four stitches right here. So this is where we will increase by putting two front post double crochets. Work one of the regular stitches into the next three stitches. So there's one double crochet. Into the next stitch, we'll work a front post double crochet normally. That's your, there's our second stitch. Third stitch is our other double crochet. And now we've come to the fourth stitch again, which is a front post double crochet. And we're going to do two front post double crochets over that. So we are increasing every four stitches. So go ahead and repeat that all the way around and I will meet you guys as soon as I come to the end. We have made our way all the way around and you will end with an increase. We are now closing up round four and we are going to slip stitch to the top of the chain three and what I'm going to do here is finish off and I'm going to chain one and then I'm going to clip off the color yellow and then you want to pull that through give it a nice snug pull on it and then you want to just close that 
and you can color change however you want um, I like this method better but if you don't you can use your favorite method and I'm going to pull that through and I like to tie a knot you can also join with a slip stitch or a single crochet however you like to join so I'm going to now chain up three and we are now on round five and we are going to be evening out our increases by putting one double crochet all the way around and so here is our increase make sure that you get every stitch I am going to continue working one double crochet all the way around and as soon as I come to the end I will come back on camera and show you what to do next and at the end of this round we will have 35 double crochets okay so we have come to the end of round five we are just going to repeat this um, from round six all the way until the end of round seven and we will just chain up three and continue to put one double crochet all the way around and we want to have a total of 35 double crochets all the way around so as soon as I come to the end of round seven I will come back and we will start working on the armholes okay so we've come to the end of round seven and we are now going to be working on the armholes and we want to start with the chain three as always we now want to work one double crochet into the next three stitches and we want to have a total of four and that is including with the chain three chain up four one two three and four and we're going to skip four stitches across and then join to the fifth stitch so we're counting after where the chain up is so there's one two three four and then join to the fifth stitch with a double crochet and there's our little armhole we then want to work one double crochet into the next 19 stitches chain up four one two three and four skip four stitches one two three four and join to the fifth stitch with a double crochet place one double crochet into the last two stitches and there is our second armhole we now want to slip stitch to the top of the chain three to close and end round eight for round nine chain up three this will count as a double crochet so what we want to do is just work one double crochet all the way around for round nine and if you've never done one of my sweaters I refer to this as the chain bridge because we have to get over it and we are going to put one double crochet where these V's are and then what we want to do is just put one double crochet into the four chains that we made here you don't want to add any unnecessary stitches because if not your count will be off you want to go directly into this next double crochet and we want to continue repeating this all the way around putting one double crochet and you'll repeat this when you get to the other side when it's time for the second armhole you will have 35 double crochets all the way around I have come to the end of round nine 
and you want to end with a slip stitch to close this round. You want to continue working round 9 all the way into the end of round 12. I will meet you guys as soon as I come to the end of round 12. When you come to the end of round 12, you're going to cut off the end of your yarn and you're going to chain one and finish off. After you have finished off, you're going to turn your work upside down like you normally would and you're going to get your second color ready. Mine is the bright yellow. Here is the chain three. You're going to count one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. And you are going to join your yarn right here. And I'm just going to pull that through. And you guys, if you guys have done my sweaters, you guys know that I like to tie with a knot. You're going to chain up three. And we are going to put one double crochet into the next 20 stitches and we want to have a total of 21 stitches. And 21. So we have crocheted once in the first 21 stitches. And you can turn your work and look to make sure that it matches and looks good. Mine looks good, so I'm going to go to row 2. For row 2, you're going to chain up 3 and then turn your work. And so it's going to be facing wrong side. So this is um, our first double crochet, first of all. And oh, this is sticking out. You can always cut this after into the very next second stitch right here we are going to work a back post double crochet and if you turn your work you'll notice it's sticking out on the other side on the right side and it is a front post double crochet so basically it's going to be a double crochet um, front post double crochet um, double crochet front post double crochet but you are not doing a front post double crochet. It's a back post double crochet. You have to work the opposite because it's on the opposite side. So, don't get confused. Um, if, if you do find yourself getting confused with my pattern um, in this video, please refer to my pattern that is in the description box below. So, in the next stitch, we're going to do a back post double crochet. Whoops. The only thing about this crochet hook is it slips out pretty easily. Okay, we're back in business. So, in this next stitch, we'll work a back post double crochet. And then to the next stitch, a double crochet. And then to the next stitch after, work another back post double crochet. Okay. So that is going to be the repeat across and you will end with a double crochet. Okay, so I've come to the very last stitch. There is a chain three. We're going to work at the top. And we will work a double crochet into that stitch. And that's our very last stitch. So if you turn your work, this is what your work should look like. So we did back post double crochets to make them stick out because we were on the wrong side. For row 3, we are going to chain up 3. And this is going to be our last row of these. We're going to repeat what we did. And we are going to um, skip this stitch because that counts as a double crochet. And into this next stitch, we'll of course do a front post double crochet. And then in the next stitch, work a double crochet. Into the next stitch after, we'll do a front post double crochet. And then in the next stitch after, work a double crochet. And then front post double crochet. And then double crochet. 
front post double crochet and then double crochet so you're going to repeat this across and when you get to the end I will show you guys what to do next because uh, we are going to be single crocheting around the sweater okay so as soon as you've come to the end you're going to chain up one and you're going to immediately single crochet into that stitch and then work your way down putting one single crochet into the chains and if you've ever done sweaters before you know the process of just putting one single crochet all the way around if you haven't all you were doing is just putting a single crochet around to even out your work and to make it look more neater but when it comes to right here where the chain 3 is go to that top of the chain 3 and put a single crochet there and wherever you can put a single crochet go ahead and put one but I try to stay in between the lines and make sure that I'm actually putting it where it needs to be so where the straggler was where we finished off I am working over that as well so when I get done I don't have to tuck in my work I hate when that happens and then when it comes to right here I like to work my stitch right there in that corner and then work my way back up okay so I'm going to continue to work one single crochet all the way around until I get to the end and I will slip stitch to join to the very first single crochet which is coming up very soon and then we will begin working on the armholes right here okay so I've come to the end and this is what our work looks like and I've single crocheted around my work so I'm going to demonstrate on one armhole on how to do um, the arm sleeve and then I'll work the other one off camera so go ahead and grab your yellow again and join to this corner stitch right here okay now that I have joined my yarn to the corner stitch we are going to chain up three and we are going to work one double crochet into these first four stitches and of course we are working over our stragglers actually our first five stitches should I say now we will turn our work and start working on the opposite side so what I do is I like to go into here and work into the actual stitch so we have five six and then now we are working upside down and you can just cut this off there's six and then you want to work into these stitches that are upside down there's seven eight There's nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Okay, we're almost at the end, and there's thirteen. And then right here is going to be our last stitch. And 14. So 
so that is our very last stitch then we will join to the top of the chain three and then slip stitch that closed now going to chain up three for round two and that is our double crochet and into the very next stitch of course we will work a front post double crochet next stitch is a double crochet I'm like I had a thing for a minute and then we will work a front post double crochet into the very next stitch after we'll work a double crochet and then repeat this all the way around with a front post double crochet and then a double crochet so you will have a total of 14 stitches all the way around and we will end with a front post double crochet okay so I've come to the end of round two and now we are just going to chain up one and put one single crochet into every stitch and we will have a total of 14 single crochets all the way around now that we've come to the end you're going to slip stitch to the first single crochet chain one and finish off and then tuck in your ends and there we have it guys there is our extra extra small size dog sweater and you guys do not have to use this exclusively just for dogs you can also use them for um, puppies newborn puppies that are of this size you can also use them for smaller um, size cats or kittens you can also use them for rabbits as well I've heard a lot of people using my patterns for different livestock animals and um, it makes me really happy that you guys are putting these patterns to great use for your animals so thank you guys so much and I really love this sweater this one was my favorite with the pink and purple combination it really reminds me of um, almost like pink lemonade that's what I want to call this one this one is really cute and I made um, two different colors so then that way you guys can see um, you know you guys can make them for boy and girls and this one kind of gave me like Halloween vibes um, I was starting to look at the colors and it reminded me of the candy corn so you guys always could get creative and embellish them put flowers on them um, put buttons on them um, embroider them by hand or um, you know just get crazy with the colors, use a variegated yarn and stuff like that. So, thank you guys so much for watching and I will see you guys in the next video. Bye guys!